What's up? This is Damrick. Jamie Madrock. Man, this is your man. It's Obi Trice. This is Adlib. Yo, what up? This is Specs One. This is Fresh K. Hard Rock's the motherfucking Scrat MC. Breaking records. Breaking records radio out here. This is Breaking Records Radio. Check them out, man. <laughs> uh, I did read that you haven't written down a verse in roughly 16 years. Yeah, I have. I've, I've never written down. I never. I don't write any verses or anything like that. Um, when I first started rapping. When I my very first raps, you know what I mean. I want to say like first couple of years when I started rapping, I you know would put pen to paper, go in the booth, and you know. The word I mean? is that you didn't like your handwriting. Yeah, I didn't like my I didn't <laughs> I didn't like, I didn't like my handwriting. Well, because I was I, I had you know my homies that we we started rapping with. Yeah. And um, they just had good handwriting. Like it looked so <laughs> neat. So to me, it just, I was insecure. I felt like their raps were going to be better than mine. Because right? like, it just looked better. Yeah. So I was like, my shit was like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mine's worse than that. Yeah, so. my shit was just like was going all up and down. I was like, yo, this shit looks whack. And I hated standing in the booth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It definitely has. Yeah. People always have different approaches to writing. You know, like Rakim used to put the four dots down each side yeah. for his four bar sections. But, yeah. I, but I, Rakim did that? I hate, I hate. I'm being, surprised he needed to do I that. I hate being in the booth and reading from a paper. It just, to me, it just felt disingenuous. Like, yeah. You know what I mean, for me. It's like, too structured on I, I like, Yeah, I, I like to just have it, you know. Yeah. I don't like just freestyle, you know what I'm saying? But you I do, know what you're going to I know say, it bro. pretty much. I mean, sometimes I do, but pretty much I, um, I like to uh, go in there and just, I like to, whatever comes out is what was supposed to come out. So that's yeah. the way I kind of do my rhymes, even if it's like little glitches that might seem like quote unquote mistakes, but yeah. I feel like they were supposed to be that way. That's so part of the, yeah. That's part of the art. Exactly. You know yeah, I mean? I yeah, it ruins it when you make it too polished, right? Yeah. Like the beauty of classic rock, they leave all those. They didn't have that. Yeah, no, to be able to the quantize. And the whole idea of beauty is the something. imperfection yeah, of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. But um, yeah, man. I mean, that, that I feel like that's what's natural. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the natural shit, and that's what I like to put out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel more comfortable with that. And before Obi moves on, I feel like he's gonna ask something. But I remember what I did want to ask you. Mm -hmm. When you're coming up in the battle days, when you're coming up, though, I, I'm guessing it was still the days of rapping actually over beats. Yeah. So what was it like to transition from freestyle rapping, battling over beats, to doing an acapella, and what do you prefer? Um. Well. It's just two totally different ways of doing it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, uh, how do I put it this way? I'm going to compare it to sports. Yeah. Okay. I feel like making music, I'm going to compare it to basketball. Battling is like the dunk contest. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could be a great dunker, jump out the gym, but not every dunker is going to play good in the games. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, one aspect of it's the one whole aspect game. of the thing. Yeah. Marrying it to a beat, making a song, and all these different kind of things. It's a totally different. Uh, it's a totally different aspect. For sure. So um, it's different. And then I would say that's like rapping over a beat. Excuse me, like battling over a beat would be like the then going a cappella would be one step further, saying you don't even like you don't have to. It, it just I guess it's more theatrical. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can bring props in and stuff like that. Or you don't have to you can you don't have to dribble, you can run the whole time with the ball and jump. You know what I mean? Yeah, like okay. you know what I mean? So, so it's just like you, even more, you know. And do you feel over instrumental then what that said is uh, more is more showcasing of the actual skill that an artist has? Because I feel like if you need to freestyle what, wait, is what you keep it structured, I feel like over the instrumental it even if it's harder to listen to the battles, I personally prefer them because I feel like that's where you really are seeing the full showcase of talent because they're keeping it on rhythm, they're keeping it on point, and it just all depends on what you think, what what your perception is. I mean, it all depends. That's that's uh, that's um, that's all depending on who you know. Personal preference. Personal, yeah, preference. personal preference. Excuse me. Yeah, that's personal preference because the other argument could be when you don't have a beat, you can be more creative because you're not restricted to the tempo yeah. of that beat. You know what I mean? So just like I have to, you know what I mean? Then somebody can argue like you say, like, oh, you got to do it. So it just, it just all depends. I, I personally think. Do you think, have a preference? I personally think, when you're going into the battle world, I think no beat is better because it's different. It's just separate. Yeah. It separates it from it's it's evolved. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's evolved out of that because, you know. That's one skill set, but then when you go into another thing, it's like this is another skill set. It's going to be on, and then you can just really concentrate. The whole thing isn't about who has the best. All these people want to be entertained. They want to yeah. see you just demolish that other person. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's just it's just different. Yeah. But me personally, 
But after a while, that might get so redundant. People want to be like, yo, let's go back to back the beats. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? There's evolution there. That's right. honestly actually what pushed me to there. After yeah. watching acapella battles for so many years, I feel like it's almost getting to a point where dudes like, you almost don't even have rhymes at certain points anymore because it's so theatrical. Yeah. It's like, I don't even It's hear. a different thing, There's but no rhyme. that makes it more rhymes. palatable for a certain audience. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so sure. it's, uh, you know, it's just, it's just preference, man. You know what I mean? That's Me pretty much worldwide at this point with yeah. most of the battle leagues. Yeah. You don't find any that are rocking on beats. No, you don't yeah, no, at all. Like, I mean, me personally, the first ones that I saw like that were, um, were, uh, well, people were doing it before without beats. I mean, I did battles without beats just on the street. There's yeah. no fucking beat. You know what I mean? You just battle somebody. Yeah. But when it like was really put out there and like organized like that, usually like every organized battle was like in a club somewhere where they had a beat. DJ. Yeah. But then I think Smack, you know, the Smack DVDs. Yeah. When I saw like Murder Mook and Jay Mills and all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? It's when it's like, oh shit, like it was people. It was a full audience. It was like a thing. I was like, okay, that's dope. Yeah, and for me, that's when I saw the change. I was like, okay, that's the way that it's going because they didn't. It wasn't on beat. Mm -hmm. It was like I'm talking to you. It yeah, was like conversational. Right. It was more, you know, theatrical, and you know, and it's evolved to what it is now. Battle rap nowadays reminds me of a real technical yo mama joke. Battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A roasting competition. There's always the, I'm way, you know a lot more lyrical. I mean, and whatnot, but that, but that's. that's that, I mean, to me, honestly, that's kind of why a part of me kind of stepped away. Like me, I just kind of got. Not bored, but I was just like, I, I was more interested in the creative aspect of music. Like, I'm producing now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, that was more like of a challenge to me. Like, okay. Yeah. Whereas battling is like, I had did. I just felt like I said what I had to say. You know what I'm saying? Battling is and like. You right. battled some of the greatest battlers. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I did it for a long time. You know what I'm saying? I did it, you know. And it was just like, all right, I'm more, I'm more excited about this is what's getting my creative juices going. Because to me, battling was never as much about the competition as it was about me just creatively like that shit was dope like yeah. this is a new way to express myself creatively and do battles I don't I'm not restricted by a beat I can talk about anything and do this and you know what I'm saying and once I did that I was like okay fulfilled yeah you know what I'm yeah. saying let me go do something else so until that feeling comes back I probably won't battle breaking so. fucking records radio